Hi, my name is Ashe Burgess, and I'm with my friend and colleague, Arcelia Gandaria, and we're from the Cuban Museum of Art. And we're doing a video about the self-care practices of all people of color who identify as women. And before we start having that conversation, we're actually gonna engage in a close looking exercise. My friend Sally is gonna share her screen and we're gonna hit, go ahead and get started. So this artwork is called Women Bathing Before an Architectural Panorama. And it was inspired, this inspired the conversation because in the foreground of this artwork, you can see eight women bathing in this lush and beautiful pond. They seem to be surrounded by flowers and seating positions. They even seem to have attendants as far as we can see, serving to their every need. They're ensconced in luxury and refinement. But there's an opposing or contrasting image in the background if you zoom in. So I think if you zoom in in the background for us. So in the distance, or at least some league away from the women bathing, there seems to be a war going on, a war fought bitterly. And the women in the foreground bathing in the front of their architectural panorama don't seem to be very aware of this, of this war, at the very least concerned by it. They are ensconced and encased in this luxury and peace and refinement. And it just got us to thinking, Sally and I, about how women of color are often on the front lines of their very lives. They fight for themselves, they fight for their communities, and they fight for the broader world. And we wanted to discuss that with this artwork today. Thanks to Shay for introducing us to this piece. And before we wrap up in thinking about this artwork, just think about a few of the things that come to mind as you look at these elements and some of these details. And you might take a piece of paper and a pencil or something to write with and just write down some of the things that come to mind for you. You can go ahead and pause this video if you need some more time to look at this artwork and to write down some of those things that this artwork brings up. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and introduce our reflection activity. So we saw that in the foreground and Shay introduced for us, there was eight women bathing. We wanted to think about in a connection to those eight women, some of the things that we need to give ourselves. So eight of the things that we need to give ourselves. And we wanted to start off with four. So using your pencil, your paper, whatever you're using to reflect, go ahead and think about four of the things that you need for yourself. And this could be as simple as making sure that I take 30 minutes each day for lunch with no screens, no emails, no one distracting me. It can be as simple as making sure that I go outside because I need that to feel 100% me. So think about a few of those things. And again, if you need a moment to pause this, this video to think longer, if you need some more time, feel free to pause and use as much time as you need. And finally, connecting those last four people, we want you guys to come back to this list throughout the week and add on a few more things that you're noticing that you need to feel fulfilled in this new space or this new environment that we're in. Or maybe just things that you feel like you need in reaction to some of the things going around, on around you. Um, and we hope that this helps to reflect, but also to get you to think about the steps that you need to take to actually make those things happen. And just like Sally said, we're reflecting on the things that we can give ourselves as self-care practices that we need in order to feel emotionally feel fulfilled and mentally well. But as we were close looking at the artwork, I mentioned that there were attendants. And of course, someone had to build that architectural panorama for the women to bathe in. And I want us to reflect on the things that can be given to us. So not only our self-care practices that we give to ourselves, but those things that can be given to us. How can our communities and our cultures and our environment be of service to us, just like those women had attendants in their bathing pool? What can be given to us so that we live in a state of constant political and social peace, as well as mental well-being and emotional health? I think that, like I said, women of color are often on the front lines. We pour so much into our communities, but what can our communities do to pour into us? Have that broader conversation going on in the back of your head as you continue to talk about your own commitment to your self-care practices. 
like I said, my name is Ashe Burgess, and this is my friend and my colleague, Arcede Gondaria. We're from the Peter Museum of Art, and we really hope you enjoyed our video today. Bye. Bye.